everybody, it's me, Darcy Decadence, and I'm back trying to get a scholarship to T2 because I really want to take this class. I was very, very satisfied with T1. Um, even though I've been reading for 10 years, I learned so much and gained so much more confidence, and I really think that I can definitely grow even more from T2, especially because I'm going to start uh, teaching a tarot class, and um, Bridget has been a huge inspiration to me, and I think that building a stronger foundation in T2 will definitely prepare me to be a tarot teacher. Um, I'm currently looking for a new career path. Um, I've been kind of lost for the past three years, and maybe tarot teaching and uh, reading tarot is my soul calling, and I want to find out. This reading is for my friend Elaine in Ireland. She has been having some uh, back and forth issues with a guy that she calls the Knight of Cups, I believe that's what she refers to him as. And um, it seems like they could potentially be hurting, heading towards another on situation after being off for a while. And she wanted to know how it would turn out. Um, from what I see, there is a lot of change in movement as the overall feeling in this reading. And I know that, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, and three, twelve cards can be a little overwhelming from some of the people who are watching this video. So I'm going to break it down piece so by let's piece. Let's take a look at the first row. Um, we have Temperance, the Tower, and the Four of Pentacles. This, I think, is a reflection of what always happens every time Elaine and the Knight of Cups gets together. Uh, Elaine is looking for something balanced and, you know, reciprocating, and the Knight of Cups just wants to hold on to things, like in the Four of Pentacles, that make him feel secure and safe. And inevitably, these two combinations together uh, create a tower situation where they both fall down and can't get back up. <laughs> you know, uh, the relationship is just toppled, and they both end up having um, a cycle end and a cycle begin again. And the question is, will this ever stop? So, let's move down here to the second row where we have Judgment, Death, and Ace of Wands. So, Judgment I always see is kind of like a wake-up call. There's a big horn, Gabriel's horn blasting an announcement like, hey, listen to this. Uh, use your best judgment. And Death is obviously the end of something. And Ace of Wands is striking out on new social adventures. So what I think this is saying is that she really needs to heed the warning, let it end, and get out there and meet somebody new. Um, the next row is Ten of Wands, Knight of Wands, and Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Wands is really burdened, it's too much, since that is in the road that I think represents Elaine personally. Um, I think, you know, this whole on-again, off-again thing is just too much for her. Um, the middle row, I've sort of interpreted to mean, uh, the Knight of Wands is what happens because of what's going on with, uh, the two, um, opposing rows combined, so... That's just the indication just get out there, do it, go for it, become more social and meet somebody new. You can do it. Um, the Knight of or the King of Cups, uh, that's in the row that I attributed to her past lover. Um, and I kind of see this as him just kind of being selfish with feelings and 
overindulgent and it's just really need to decide if you want that in your life or not. So the last row would be Six of Swords. Um, this is Elaine taking her problems and troubles and going away from this toxic relationship in search of Two of Pentacles, which is a balance, and that's just echoed up there in Temperance. Uh, and then the outcome card at the final corner would be the Lovers. So moving on is going to bring a much more fulfilling relationship to Elaine, and she just needs to get herself unattached, uh, find balance first, and then the rest will follow. It's gone So now that I did the reading, I want to talk about some things in the reading that I think can be improved by a scholarship to T2. So number one, as you know, if you're watching my blog and you've been seeing my posts in the tarot community, I'm kind of a one trick pony when it comes to spreads. I don't like them very much. I don't use them very much. I tend to stick with my um, three across however many rows down and the way I work that is it gives me all of the cards laid out in a way that I can find connections between the cards whether it be with numerology or symbolism or intuition it helps me sort of arrange the story um, as it's all laid out before me but with that being said, since I am going to start teaching a class, I need to learn about spreads because even though they don't resonate with me, they'll resonate with my students. Um, another thing that I think I could learn is that when I read for myself, I don't have that clarity that Bridget talks about. I haven't had much luck since I came back to the United States three years ago finding a job that is going to work out for me. So I've often thought about starting my own business, but I don't really know how to get a business off the ground. And I think with this tarot class and then the fact that I am gaining more clients as a tarot reader and also the fact that I've written a book where every chapter is a tarot card, um, all of that put together, it seems like the right formula for a successful business. I just don't have the confidence or the know-how to even get it started. As I mentioned before, the reason I'm applying to this scholarship is because I really can't afford this class. I love tarot, it's my passion, I had a wonderful time in the other class, and I see all my friends from T1 signing up for T2 and I'm going to feel really sad and left behind when everybody's in T2 and I'm not. And it's just because they're a wonderful community of people who have a passion for tarot and we're all different levels from all different countries, ages, all different walks of life. And we're here learning together and I want to be part of that again and put as much love and joy and encouragement into this community to help it grow even more. I really want to be in the class and that's about as honest as I can get. Um, I'll pay it back. You won't be disappointed in me. I'll work hard and achieve even more than I achieved in the last class and give even more to the community than I gave last time. I really appreciate everything you've done for me, Bridget. You're a godsend, you're a blessing, you're a mentor, and you are definitely a gifted teacher. And I can only look to you for inspiration and guidance. So, with all of that said, good night. <laughs>